Hello my dear family members, you know in these days Accenture is asking one simple coding questions and another is from dynamic programming and most of them are repeatedly asked. So I will show you the repeatedly asked question at first then I will show you the questions from dynamic programming. Guys the coding questions which was asked on 8th September and repeated I already uploaded the questions uh, in my channel. So if you watch all the videos in the playlist of on campus coding questions then there is a probability that you will also get common right. Okay let's see what is the question. The problem is regarding finding the winner. So the problem is elections are conducted in a town that has a population n. All the people of the town cast votes in the various candidates in town. The people of town they realized that the votes of only for the candidates 18 and above years of age should be considered. Find out the candidate who is the winner if the only votes of age group 18 and above are considered. If the winner cannot be decided or this there, are, there is a tie print minus 1. You are given an array vote which represents the candidate to whom the vote is given by the ith and the another array of age which represents the age of that particular voter. Input format given like the input consists of three lines. The first line contain one value n, the size of the array. The second line contain n space separated positive integers denoting the array of the vote. And the third line will contain n space separated positive integers denoting the array of age. And the output format is print the number which represents the winner if the winner cannot be decided or there is a tie then print minus 1 and constraints are given there and input format is input is this right so i am not reading the explanation and input output you read this because i have already explained the answer as well and explained the how the output 2 is coming right okay let me show you the answer which i have already uploaded in the previous video if you face any difficulty while understanding the syntaxes or understanding the logic then please let me know in the comment section or if you want to know more about the question about the explanation then please watch the video i have already up explained right so the link will be given in the description box please watch that and please subscribe this channel to get all the questions right okay now just go to the next question which was from dynamic programming actually the question finding winner was asked on 30th August, right? Okay, let's see what is the question from dynamic programming, right? Oh, just let me declare it that the candidate who has given me the question actually was not able to remember the input and output. That's why I took the input and output from my understanding, right? Okay, let's see. So, minimum score after k operations. You are given an array error of integers and an integer k, right? You need to perform exactly k operations on the array such that the resultant score is minimized. Each operation involves selecting any two elements from the array, calculating their floor division, adding it to your score and removing both selected elements. After performing k operations, if there are any elements left in the array, you should add the sum of the remaining elements of your score. Write a function minimizing score error k that returns the minimum possible score after performing k operations on the given array so here is the input format given that is a list of integers where each element x represents an element of the array and k is the integer representing the number of operations to perform right and here are the constraints given right so please follow that output is the returns an integer the minimum possible score after performing k operations right and here is the sample input like 5 10 and 15 are the elements of array and the operations should be conducted two times so now if we how can we get the minimum possible score if we divide or if we do float division between the largest and the second largest element then we will get the minimum possible score right because it will give the minimum value so if we do the operation between 10 and 15 I mean float division then we will get 1 right so 1 and in the next iteration or in the next operation 
I mean the second operation if we do 1 and 5 float division then we will get 5 right so we conducted 2 times the operation so we now having 5 as the value so the output will be 5 right so I hope you have got the logic so please pause the video and try to solve the problem right if you face any difficulty then let me know I will be there with you right so before I end the session, I would request you again, please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding Accenture on campus previous year question, Accenture on campus coding question, Accenture off campus question, Accenture assessment based question, right? So thank you for today's session.